Amma Jane on Amma Jane TV. Yes. Uh, yes. I know this is a bit late because I did saw an MV a few days ago. Saturday, but I didn't review it. I decided to review it today because no one's here. I feel more comfortable when I'm on my own than a lot of people that might think I'm weird, as most of my videos is always an awkward situation every time my mom walks into my room I'm like uh awkward so yeah okay back to a new review yes it's pr pretty late but here I am haha <laughs> uh today I'm going to make a review obviously it's a few days ago I saw this MV it's called Sonamu as you know Sonamu is BAP's sister counterpart because they have a similar kind of symbol but it's more like a bunny no it's not no BAP's more like a bunny I don't remember Sonamu's but yeah it's similar and there's they're supposed to be like the new female version of BAP but with that said they came back with a new song I was really I really love the it, the, 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 the debut song was okay I mean it wasn't the wow factor, but I really like the MV and the choreo. Well, with this one, is a lot different. Obviously, because it's a girl group. I mean, it wasn't too... It, it's, it was cute, but at the same time, it was hip-hop-ish. So, they still can maintain that hip-hop. I really like the rappers, by the way. Those two rappers, the the two rappers in the, in the group, I really like. One of them looks like um, Jimin from AOA. And the other one has a deep voice, and she looks so pretty. I, f I feel like I feel like I already have favorite members already. Sorry, this computer just decided to act stupid. Okay, um, yeah, I like those two in the group. I forgot how many are there. Seven? Yeah, round up. So I think there's seven, six, seven of them in the, in the group. But those two really caught my my attention. Although they um. The one with the deep voice, I don't know her name, but I will find her name anyways. Uh, when she's more, since she's pretty much uh, the one rapping, she kind of outstages most of the girls that sing and dance. And the other one, who's the other rapper, she kind of does the same way as the other one, as the other rapper, because... They both rap and they say, like, hey, here I am. I've just taken over the screen time. Yay. So you guys will recognize me. So that's it. Um, The song is called Cushion. We don't have Cushion, but we have these things. But I think it counts like a Cushion for a time being. But yes, Cushions. And they had Cushions somehow, but they're there. Uh, it makes more sense to the song, Cushion. But I was a bit confused with the MV, the storylines. Like, um, okay, there's no guy. Is it, are they singing to a guy? Or is it, are they referring to the Cushion? But, hey, I didn't look up the lyrics, but I should have done that. But because I'm a bit, not lazy, but when it comes to reading and trying to understand what it's trying to say in English, not Korean, English, I find it very difficult since I have dyslexia so yeah <laughs> I need someone like would help me out but I don't have help me out right now because I'm I am I'm basically myself right here on my own so yeah so I really like the the outfits as always just like uh like deja vu um I really love the outfits and stuff except for mini skirts they wore on deja vu which was awkward to dance hip-hop in mini skirts but they were brave enough uh i don't rem i've kind of forgotten the outfits they wore but they really wore very nice colorful it's quite colorful actually if i recall myself it was pretty colorful uh really love their makeup i really love their hair the one with the rap pole she had the short hair she had pink hair she looks so good on her like seriously that got like whoa that was pink when i mean pink it was really pink Although pink is not my favourite colour because I don't like pink at all. It's one of those colours I detest out of all the colours. But seeing her with that colour, it was like fuchsia or pink. 
a really strong colour. It really looks it will look so poppy. <laughs> that hair colour is so popped out, it really looks so good on her. And she had contacts on and it looks so good with the makeup, with the hair, the outfits, everything. And then you got the wrapper, I think she wore some next outfit and looks so good on her. The all the girls wore something very unique, really nice, colourful, popping. But they still, <laughs> you know, I don't know their names, but I know there's the two rappers in the group and they caught my eye instantly from deja vu to now. I'm, I'm a bit worried, like, oh, are they going to wow me? They wow me once again with their rapping. It's like, yes. Although there was no breakdancing, kind of breakdown, like, like in deja vu, but it was okay. I really liked it. it was, like I said, it kind of reminded me of I Got a Boy from Girls' Generation because it's had that kind of pop, kind of cutesy and a kind of hip hopish in the middle, like all three, like scribbled all together, but it was a lot more hip hopish and a bit of pop and a little bit more, a little bit, just a teeny bit cutesy, but it was with the hip hop just overpowering them, it's, it's amazing, it's just more, 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 it was more than I Got A Boy From Girls' Generation. Sorry, Sones fans, if I offended you in that way. But if you look at, if you haven't seen the MV, you haven't got to know the group yet. I recommend you the group. If I recommend you which MV you should react or watch or whichever you want to make reviews, like I'm doing right now, um, I just start on Deja Vu because that's. I mean, they're still rookie groups. I mean, it will be a one-year anniversary for this group. I really. Um, yeah. Um, I guess there's a 9 out of 10. I mean, it was a good comeback. I prefer this one than... Yeah, I really like this song, actually. I might download it. And, I was, to be honest, for those who are not into girl groups, and they're always into the most typical K-pop groups that is so famous, like overly famous... Uh, for those who are not used to going into checking out new artists, checking out new groups, checking out, especially in K-pop and J-pop, I, I just recommend you to just give it a try, uh, give it a chance, because there's a lot of these groups are really good. I mean, yeah, when it comes to girl groups, you get, like, cutesy groups like Crayon Pop. That's just Crayon Pop. This Crayon Pop has their own style. Then you have Girls' Generation. They have their own niche. Then you have FX. Then you have 21. You have um, Girls' Day, Sister, AOA. Then you've got Sonamu. You've got uh, After School. There's so many, to be honest. I kinda, I'm the COC. There's one minute. Uh, and there's more these groups that that every single group has their own field of their own music, their own sound. It's basically their own sound, and and I understand some people are not into girl groups for various reasons. Probably because they might have this mentality that's going to be overly cutesy. I don't know. Probably in your mind might be Carrie Pammy Pammy in your mind, or some other thing like some anime shit. No, just it's just anime shish, anime kind of style, like really overly hyper, crazy kind of music, if you don't know what I mean. For those who are into J-pop, you get, you get what I mean. When you see those really insane, cutesy, madness anime, especially if it's a girly one, you hear those kind of really over, overly hyperish, over, overly hyper cutesy music songs that is really like bubblegum songs but really outrageous it you I probably you guys I don't know probably, is it probably me that see that way that some people see that way when it comes to k-pop when it comes to girl groups they might think that they're, they're like that I don't know but you just give it a try I mean Sonam is really good like they got they can sing they can rap I mean the rappers wow Especially the one with the very pretty face with a deep voice when she raps. Dude, J-pop will not do that. Well, some would, but 
but that deep voice is like it was something it was really something it was it was really eye-catching the song was eye catching the colors eye catching the the set was in a room obviously with cushions when I mean cushions I literally mean cushions on the floor or in the little space there's a big room and there's a little little uh, space here where they have the cushions and you just play around the cushions and the set uh, is interesting it's kind of confusing like they all transcended to some other places it's as if I thought what watching like back to the future you just transcend to somewhere else and then you just find this random kind of cup phones for those who were into the 90s we used to use those just to play when you're bored especially in school when you just say oh let's play yay and just talk and he's like oh I can hear you yeah that <laughs> we found one of those that they found they 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 had that kind of thingy there so yeah but with the st the storyline was not really clear to me for is it just me just but it's just like I said the choreo was as long as the choreo is good the song is good I'm fine and it's the outfits and the, the set was good it's fine it's just the storyline was a bit confusing but with that said like I said it was 9 out of 10 for me um please remember to subscribe my channel like this video share this video also uh <coughs> follow me on my social media such as social medias such as twitter instagram tumblr and myspace and also like my two fan pages uh, I'm a Jane Palencia, Palencia and on web series projects for those who like who are into acting and stuff uh, yes I'm planning to make a, a web series so so those who are want to be part of dying to find a job into acting and stuff uh, into a crew and you want to make more experience and stuff please remember to follow me or add me on chaney.co.uk Chaney.com, Hive.co.uk, and on LinkedIn.com, you'll find me as Amy Jane Palencia. You just you'll find my face somehow. You'll find me, but yes, I'm on it. And also for those who are into stories like fan fictions, non-fan fictions, and if you have any requests and you like my stories and stuff, well, please follow me on. Wattpad, DeviantArt and Asian fanfics and yes this is the last month of um, the Watt, the Watties Award 2015 so yeah uh, it's insane how much um, a lot of support I've been getting on the on Watties Award so especially on my stories so yeah thank you guys thank you so much I never imagined this so Please remember to read my stories, vote for my stories, and also lastly and not least, please remember to um, comment on my stories, and if there's any requests that you want to make me, any stories that you really want me to write about, especially if you love K-pop, J-pop, and anime, and video games, if there's any, any stories you want me to write about, please comment down below. Or also you can go on Watties on the Wattpad.com. Just go into my profile and also just just write down your your request. And that is all, you guys. I love you all, and thank you for all the support. Uh, yes. So that is all, you guys. Annyeong, everyone, and salangke.